Okay, let's show now um, production line, which is roughly 600 megawatt. We installed it at a customer in Turkey and uh, it shows the most important steps of the production, which I explain now on video. Now we show in a short video how a 600 megawatt line could possibly look, which we did for a customer some years ago. This is, you see the lines, one line, two lines, three line, four line, six line. Each line has about 150 megawatt. We are starting with the first process, which is stringing. You see, it's a double stringer. At this time, it was four bus bar stringing. Now we have 20 bus bars or we have up to 20 bus bars. And this we call a complete string, which is used for the layup system to make a complete solar module. This is um, a layup system made by XYZ. And you see string, string one, string two, four, five, six, made by JVG, of course. And um, capacity of this is maybe 100 megawatt, 50 megawatt, depends on the size of the solar module. Next solution is made by a robot and the robot is doing about 60 megawatt up to 150 megawatt depends on the gripper size with one gripper it's 60 megawatt with a second gripper it's 120 150 megawatt this is a big solution you see double gripper it's a big hookah robot and it's made for 300 megawatt it's made for the desert process with uh, camera recognition everything you need to make a real high volume production. This is another line we did um, in the past. It's about 150 megawatt. You see laminator one. This is the loading area. This is a loading area of laminar laminator two. This is a lamination area and this is the unloading area and you see the factory in total framing over there flashing over there and on the left side there is a big el testing system you see the screen showing the picture and the quality of the solar module and this is a solar module ready for lamination it's glass it's foil it's solar cell strings it's another foil and it's a back sheet the ribbons are taped to the rear side of the solar module not to get any crash in the lamination process. This is the loading and then comes the laminating and the unloading. Again, the most simple way to make a layup system. You see, this is the glass and the foil. It's prepared for loading the strings on top of that. This is the gripper and this is the second gripper to take the solar string from a box and you see it has already a string ready for laying down onto the solar module. This is the first string. This is the second string and this was the last string. So the module is now ready and has to be covered by a second foil and by the back sheet. Before we are doing a fully automated buzzing, which is the connection on the top side, on the middle side and on the bottom side. This is done by induction soldering, which we are doing now with a new patent process, which is independent from the number of the ribbons. You see the ribbons are in this case only two, but now we have technology um, for up to 20 bus bars. This is a EL tester I already explained. This is a picture. This is not a failure. This is normal at uh, solar cells. But you can see if there are micro cracks, if there are cut it tiny parts of the solar cell, maybe this can be a failure. And if there are too much failures, we sort it out and we, we, we mark it as B or C class. 
Again, the fully automated uh, loading process of the laminator. I think this was the line two, yeah? And um, there are normally one, two, three or four solar modules on the loading conveyor. And then all these modules are loaded to the lamination area, which is heated up to 155 to 165 degree. You see now the loading. This is a much better pic picture. You see the loading and you even see now the unloading. This is laminated. You see everything is clear. These are the ribbons. These are, you see a little bit overflowing um, um, foil, melted foil, like desert and, and back sheet. And in the next step, we have to, there's also a cooling facility in the conveyors. In the next step, we have to make the trimming to take away this tiny overstanding foils and to prepare it by tape and finally to make the framing. We are showing uh, in this video, we are showing it in the medium size where not all processes are fully automated. Of course, we have for every position also a robot driven fully automated solution with high price. Of course, price is higher. You see, this is the trimming and on the next position, you see trimmed solar modules and taped solar modules, even applied with junction box, which is not on this position. Now he's doing the cutting again, the trimming. He's doing the taping. And after we did the framing, we are doing the final check. Again, a visual inspection to see if there are visual, maybe this one you see, it's a, a tiny failure. And after that, we make the flashing. In the meantime, this was a xenon flasher. We are having a complete, fully automated LED flashing facility, integrated EL tester, hypot tester, automatic loading, uh, vision system, and packing, labeling, everything is in this line. And finally, this line is not like here, two and a half meter. This line is uh, 11 or 12 meters long. You see the packed uh, modules on pallets. Yeah, and this is the process. Thank you for your attention. Hello. In this lecture, we are explaining the solar making process, the solar production process. This picture is in the video, um, not so clear to see. We supply down this video a link where you can click on and see the document very clear. You can download, you can print out, you can do everything with it. For me now, it's the base to explain how the production process of solar making module is done. You see on the left side the red marked uh, um, items and you see on the right side red marked items. These are all materials you need to make the solar modules. It is glass, it is EVA or desert foil, it is back sheet, a barcode, a tape, fluid to frame and to make the tape slippery, silicon to fix the junction box and to fill the junction box, label after the flash process, J box and cables for the boxing, aluminium frames and corners for the framing, for the buzzing you need soldering, you need ribbons, flux and solar cells. So in total this is about 15 materials to need to make the solar modules. Let's go now from the top to the end through the process and explain a little bit how it works. First, we start with stringing and the machine is called stringer. It makes all the solar cells in raw and we do six cells, eight cells, 10 cells, 12 cells, even more. We do half cells and we connect them with 
flux and with ribbons to a string. The layup system is taking that strings, lays down the lay, lay down the strings onto the glass, which is washed, and there is also uh, the first foil placed on. The passing system is doing the soldering on the top, in the middle range, and uh, at the end. It's connecting the strings to in serial to make a functioning solar module. Then we have a place which is called cut in place. It's the second foil. It's the back sheet after everything, all the cells are placed. Then we have the first EL testing, which is a little bit similar to an X-ray system. Of course, this is maybe this and this are the most important processes. This is the laminating process done by laminators. This is the cooling. And then we have a trimming, taping. It's a pre preparation to make the framing, the aluminium framing. This is the aluminium framing. The junction box will be applied. Then we have a final visual check to see if the module looks 1A quality. We have the flashing. <clears throat> we have the EL testing 2. This is EL testing 1, EL testing 2. Then we see the difference and the failures may be caused in one of these process steps. Finally, we are doing the hypo test and the packing, which we do in the bigger configurations by robots and in the simple uh, configurations by manual work. Again, this is at the moment not so clear with the video, but you can download it, click it, print it out, and you have the overview. Of course, it's not a detail. The overview of the production process, how to make solar modules.